Hey, hey, everybody. This is your intuition. My name is Shelly. Thank you for clicking on my video. We're going to be doing the earth signs. So if you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, they could be messages in this for you. However, these are general messages. They will not resonate with each and every one of you. So please take the part that resonates and leave out what does not. If it is not your message, don't be trying to make something fit that's not your message, baby. If it doesn't apply, just let the shit fly, okay? Uh, everything that you need to know about me is in the description box below. If anybody would like to donate to the channel, hang on a second, this damn thing. If anybody would like to donate to the channel or get a reading, all that information is in the description box below. Um, Please don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you for your likes, your shares, your comments. Um, I appreciate each and one of you, one of you um, for helping me get this channel going, helping me to get the messages out to more people. Uh, that way we can help uh, more people get in tune and get them on their spiritual journey and their purpose, okay? So I do appreciate all newcomers welcome. And of course, the ones that's been with you since I started this channel, Thank you very much. Continue to support me and keep on uh, keeping it real and following me. Um, okay, yeah. Follow me on Facebook. I have that um, link in the description box below. So if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, go down and click that link in the description box below. Follow me over to my page on Facebook. Hit the follow button and you'll get notified each and every time that I go live. And you can also follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition, and let's get into it. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. General reading won't resonate with all of you. I don't remember if I said that or not. Take what part resonates, leave out what don't. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. So... Spirit is saying life is an expression of you. Life is more than just existing. Let it flow. Let it out. Open your heart to feel. And past life emotion lives in you. You're expressing more. It's releasing. So with this, um, I'm saying that you've got a lot of things that's happened to you that you need to let out. You've blocked yourself uh, off to people because you're afraid of getting hurt because it's happened to you. Uh, a lot of times y'all could be going through this depression mode and figuring like, well, you know, trying to figure out what, what is it that you are supposed to be doing out here in this world? What is your purpose? But life is more than expression. Life is more than just to getting up and existing. It's just getting up and being happy and, and happy with you got and praying and finding what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And Spirit is telling you to stay strong, be a God in life. Ground yourself, be loved. So it's about being going around loving one another. And it's about staying strong because you are a light, um, probably a star seed, light worker that, you know, you haven't realized it yet. Maybe you're not so far off into your, um, you know, because we're all on different paths, right, in our spiritual journey. So maybe you're not quite far enough to realize that you are a strong light. You you know, you got to stay strong because there's other people that you got to help along the way. But whatever's happened to you in the past, you are releasing it. You know, you are starting to release it. You're starting to express more. Uh, so, yeah, it's starting to release. So, that's a good thing. You know? All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Past life from up. All right. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Honeymoon. I don't really look at this as a honeymoon. I mean, it could be somebody could be getting married here, and you could be going on a honeymoon. But this is a past life relationship, right? You've known each other before, so this could be a past person, or this could be just a past life, uh, past life connection. Okay. Now you could be at a distance. Uh, you could be just going out and spending time with each other. You could be at a distance over a body of water. Um, but you know, getting to know each other, and we have engagement on the bottom. So your love life is ascended to a higher level of commitment. You do have a um, you have do have a past life soulmate that is coming in, okay? So that is why spirit is telling you to, you know, whatever's happened to you in the past, it's time to let that go and clear that out because you gotta open up your heart to feel. You know, you can't be blocking out good shit when it comes in for you, you know? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Get to healing. Express more and more every day. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
Uh, you got to be honest with yourself, okay? The yellow in this card is letting me know that you're going through some kind of awakening. You know, God's enlightening you, letting you be aware of who's on your side and who isn't. You know, you can't even, you, you just can't ignore it anymore. It's just, it's there, right? You need to be aware of your environment and the people that are, are in it. Okay, and Spirit is asking you to move forward fiercely. Don't have any fear. Well, you know, we walk on faith. Um, you know, walk on faith. Don't have any fear and keep on going forward. You just got to be aware of the people that's in your energy. But with that, you know, uh, Spirit is going to be giving you illumination and awareness as you go on this journey. And they're going to be um, letting you know who's who. That's a fact. And to the fact that you can't deny it. It's like, <laughs> damn, okay, thank you. Just thank them, you know. Even though it hurts sometimes, you know, I always thank Spirit that they, you know, um, let you see who's against you and who's uh, for you, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we got waiting. So you're setting back waiting or somebody else is setting back waiting. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, obsessive controlling, karmic as unhealthy lover. Could be sitting back waiting. They're waiting, okay? So they're waiting. This this person is tripping off of you, okay? So this lover's sitting back waiting. They're tripping on you. This is somebody that's a spirituality hater, baby. This is somebody that uh, has a God complex or this is just somebody that's got a dark energy because somebody could be practice magic, witchcraft, this person cannot stand your light. They cannot stand that you stand in your power. They cannot stand, or goes my ear ringing again. They cannot stand your spirituality, you know, how strong you are. They cannot. So, we'll see where we go with this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, cut the cords. So you could be have you could have cut somebody out of your life, okay? Uh, or you need to do a cut cord cutting uh, ceremony, uh, cut the cord with somebody because you know uh, you may have to do that. Some of us, you know, you do. It just depends on how far it is, but uh, you may have to do a cord cutting ceremony, or you just cutting the cords with somebody. You cutting the cord with this lover here, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rose, Rose, Rose and Venus. <laughs> Love is on the bottom, okay? Yeah. You need to pay attention to your finances right now, okay? But this dark man, this is going to be a dark man, dark complexion, dark hair. Uh, you could be cutting the cords with this person, okay? You know? Yeah, you could be cutting the cord with this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, Spirit is saying you're going through some unsettling times right now. You need to plan ahead, especially when it comes to your finances. Make sure you're paying attention to your finances. If you don't need it, don't go be purchasing it. But the sun is here. Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. Have it aspected in your chart. It's just like you're going through some unsettling times, right? And you went through a lot of shit with this dark man, or you are the dark man. And you've been going through some shit. Flip-flop the energies as you need to. But it's time for you to cut this energy away. This person is just set back waiting. They could be using... Uh, I was done, done uh, fire signs just a minute ago. And I did pick up the, uh, the devil and the magician and all that. Somebody could be trying to put some kind of magic on you. And this is unsettling times right now. But you need to start planning ahead as far as your finances. You know, the sun. You need to be worried about you and your family and your well-being. Making sure that... You have everything that you need, um, but this person's tripping on you because, you, you you know, you're light. You know, you out here doing all kinds of shit because I did see the hat. So, you are out here, you know, doing a lot of things different, and, uh, you know, um, <laughs> this person's tripping out on it. But they are just sitting back waiting, like, okay, saying what's going to happen and whatnot, but Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit is saying on the bottom, it's up to you. So it's up to you, you know, on your decision. The Spirit is saying this is the perfect timing. But there's a waiting period. Spirit is not saying no. They're just not saying there's going to be a waiting period here, okay? There will be a peaceful resolution. So if you, um, there will be a peaceful resolution. And I have the no here. So they might not be a peaceful resolution, okay? But somebody is, you know, um, 
let go was behind that. So it's time to let go of this shit, but it's up to you. Um, but whatever you're, this person's going to have a waiting period. There's going to be a waiting period uh, for whatever's coming in right now. So um, even though there is a waiting period, you just uh, try to plan ahead. That's more or less what I'm getting out of this, okay? So far, we'll see what else comes out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, cutting ties. Yeah, somebody's eavesdropping in. Somebody's could, uh, eavesdropping in. <laughs> eavesdropping, it's late. Uh, there's somebody's eavesdropping on your conversations or listening in. This person could be remote, uh, isolating, alone, okay? But you're cutting ties with this person. Cutting ties. Expired and discontinued, okay? Um, somebody's sitting back trying to strategize right now because somebody's bitter. Somebody's bitter. They're bitter right now, and they're sitting back here strategizing, okay? This person is a liar. <laughs> they are a storyteller. Um, they're um, a storyteller and a fabricator. They will lie about some shit. Look at that nose. I mean, come on. Okay, but this person is bitter. Uh, they're very bitter. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What the hell was that one? Hit my leg. Where'd it go? Yeah, this person is feeling trapped. They're feeling trapped. So, yeah, they're feeling trapped in their situation or their uh, relationship right now. This person's always out here partying and playing all types of games. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So the first house is here. What's on the bottom? Okay. We got somebody that wants to be more than friends, okay? But uh, I'd be careful because this person is projected. Okay, this person could be projected some kind of energy onto you. This person is somebody that's uh, quick to point out everybody else's flaws and what they do wrong, but they, they, ain't, they don't uh, own up to anything they're doing wrong, okay? This person is a slacker. They don't want to put in any type of work. The 10th house. Now, 10th house was on the fire signs, okay? The ninth house come out too. So, yeah, you got you. You need to be mindful of your social group, your friendships, the people that you affiliate with, because you're dealing with a smooth talker. Okay. So I got balling. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay. But the first house is here. Okay. So the first house is here, and this person is pissed off. Ninth house is here. You know, you could be going back to school, higher learning, or you just back different background belief systems, right? This person didn't want to put in any work, but you are on that first house. You're out here. You're finding your sense of identity. You're finding you, or the person you're dealing with is finding you, right? Uh, you're finding yourself. You're finding your identity. But you need to be mindful of the first impression that people gives off when they're around you uh, because, yeah, somebody doesn't like your ambition. They don't like your goals. They don't like that you're climbing up. They don't like that you're going to be balling. You're either balling now, you know, you ain't hurting for nothing, and your, mon you know, your money's right, or it will be. And this person doesn't like that uh, because they're hating on your life because you figured out who you are, right? You're awakened. You figured out who you are, and this person is like, they, they, they're sitting back waiting because trying to come in. So they're bitter about this shit. They're bitter. They're angry. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We got journey. So, yeah, we got somebody that could be and travel towards you because their ass is broke poverty. Yeah, this person could be wanting to travel towards you because they're broke. They're in poverty right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, something just flipped over. Guess not. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. That's too many. Distant horizons. So this is going to happen in the near future. Yeah, this person could be coming towards your house. because We have the house here. Or you could be moving homes. But we have the false person. 
this is a false person, okay? Uh, there's change coming in. Uh, you're choosing a new pathway. There's new pathways that's opening up to you. I do see great fortune, but, uh, you know, I see the fake person there. Uh, this person could be trying to come to your house to see you uh, show up unexpectedly. They're trying to come towards you. So they're sitting back waiting, but this is a false person. But they're coming because they're broke. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Slow moving. So, Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's work could be slow moving, but um, don't give up uh, whatever you're doing here. Because the, if you stay on it and you don't give up, that change is coming in around work. As long as you're consistent and you're putting in that time, uh, you're either mastering something or, you know, or you're, you're um, we'll clarify the Eight of Pentacles, but slow moving. Don't give up yet. Don't give up. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, the Sun. Somebody could be in the spotlight here. It could be dealing with the Leo, Aquarius, the Star. Um, we got five of Swords. We got somebody's wanting to fight. Could be fighting over a job. Uh, could be fighting with somebody that you're working with, but there's somebody that you're around. Uh, there's deception going on around the workplace, right? Or somebody you work with, right? Uh, there's an imbalance here, or there's this like you're going, uh, you're looking at your options, but the sun is like in the spotlight. Lovers, Gemini. Uh, it could be dealing with an Aquarius, you know, but the, uh, the Aquarius is uh, the star, you know, it's going towards success. Um, you know, you got some options opening up. Uh, just don't give up. You do have options opening up. This is you, the person you're dealing with. But somebody wants to come in and fight. Or, you know, come in and lie to you. But, you know, the stars, you're going towards success and you're having faith in the divine. Okay? And, you you know, you, you whatever you've been praying for and stuff when it comes to your business or your career or your occupation, it's coming in. Okay? You're going towards success. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here for the star for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Page of Cups. Okay. High Priest, uh, Pisces. Listen to your intuition, okay? Page of Cups. Somebody could be coming in trying to give you uh, a love offer here. But you need to listen to your intuition here. Uh yeah, you need to listen to your intuition here because you're going through this ascension. You're going through this awakening here. You're going through this healing process, this transformation, this change, Scorpio energy. Uh, you're going through this ascension. And you just ain't got time for the drama. You could be not talking to somebody. You just ain't got time for the bullshit. You could be going towards a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you're just trying to uh, keep your nose on the grind and, and work hard, right? Uh, I see there's some kind of new romance or business proposal that's coming in. Okay? Clarify the High Priest for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ten of Cups. Yeah, you could have a family with somebody, Ten of Cups. Uh, strength card, Leo, could be dealing with a Leo, Four of Wands. Yeah, there's some type of excitement here. There's some kind of excitement. You could be changing homes. Uh, there's a celebration here. It's about you, uh, you want joy and peace, you know. Uh, strength, you, you know, you're having to have a lot of strength and courage because you're focusing on your home, your family, your kids, you know, and you're you're healing. But it says you got to listen to your intuition when it comes to people that comes around you right now because you do have the moon. You do you are dealing with people that's hiding shit, cancer energy. The hierophant is here, Taurus. Um, yeah, you're at a, you're at a, you got to make a decision here, okay? Clarify the strength card. Clarify the strength card for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Leo. This person could be single. They could be disciplined, relying on themselves. Um, you know, uh, very wise, intelligent. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Emperor, Aries, Energy. This is somebody that's very wise, very intelligent. This is somebody that's protected. This is somebody standing in their power. They want order. They want, you know, peace. They're, you know, this is somebody that's focusing on their family, focusing on stability, and they're having strength. And this is somebody that's sitting back waiting, but they're not able to go towards them. Somebody's stuck because somebody needs to travel towards somebody. 
But they're, I mean, they're stuck, not able to go forward. They're sitting back waiting. But yeah, I see that somebody, the Emperor's Aries, somebody's wise and intelligent, somebody's bossed up. They're standing in their power. They're in the Nine of Pentacles energy. You know, they're strong, you know, fo focused on their home, their kids, going through this spiritual awakening, the Four of Swords. I mean, I got all these cards out here of healing, right? This is about divine time, and this is about going towards success. This is about healing. Um, yeah, somebody's not able to travel right now, though, I'm saying. Clarify the soul connection. Soul connection to Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, judgment. You're making a decision to walk away from this person. And now this person is going through some struggles and some challenges because they know you're walking away. They got this anxiety and fear. They're losing sleep because karma's here. Five of Pentacles. This person's having a hard time. Um, whether it's financial or just a hard time in general. Or, you know, Five of Pentacles is a hard time. Could be... Um, you know, could be some karma here. Uh, but judgment is here. Judgment, yeah. You're making a decision because shit has been eliminated. It could have been a lover, Gemini. Um, somebody could have had options here. It could have been eliminated. And you're walking away from this person. This person knows this. And now they're having these challenges. And they're sitting back waiting. Um, yeah, they're sitting back waiting because they got this anxiety. Because, you know, they got this anxiety because they, they say that you're healing. They say that you're going towards your success. They say you're standing in your power. You're wise. You're intelligent. And, you you know, you, you they see this growth. And they feel this connection towards you. Um, yeah. They feel this connection towards you and they feel that you're walking away. And this person is struggling. They got this anxiety and fear because they're going to have a hard time. This is the reason why this person is bitter because you're walking away and they know that they're going to have a hard time. But, baby, whatever you're doing, you're focusing on you. You're focusing on resting. Uh, you know, you're focusing on your healing. Uh, you're focusing on releasing shit. There's something new and exciting that's coming in. Opposites is attracting. I did see that. Okay? But be careful because somebody could be trying to come in and get you on a rebound as well. So you want to be mindful. Don't run into anything real fast. If they're there for the right reason, maybe they're going to be there. Uh, they'll go at your pace. Right? But, yeah. This person, uh, yeah, there is this uh, awakening going on. And you are listening to your intuition and you are healing your boss and up. Or whoever I'm talking to. Could be an Aries. Could be a Leo. Um... But, yeah, this it's slow moving, you know. It's slow moving and you think nothing's happening, but it is happening. Just don't stop what you're doing because the change is coming in. And these people are going to be bitter about it. They're going to be really pissed off because they're going to have a hard time. So, uh, it, you know, it has to. So what you need to do right now is just be aware of your environment because there is people out there that's uh, not happy for you necessarily uh so you just need to continue going forward pay attention to your finances there's these unsettling times going on right now just start planning ahead but don't stop what you're doing because that change is coming in you just it's you know they're not it's you gotta wait there's a little bit of a wait period but it is coming in okay so just be mindful of people around you because people don't like you uh climbing up you know people um people don't like that at all you know, if they get something, uh, if you get something that they're not, you know, they just they hate on it, right? All right. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let me see what this is about. The third house. So, it's out here. You need to be careful about who and what you're around. Uh, there could be a partnership. The seventh house is around partnership. You need to be careful on any kind of partnerships, whether it be friendship, whether it be romantic, or whether it be business. Be careful because somebody's wanting a cooperation or want to come in and balance something out, but you need to be mindful. Because you need to be careful of who and what you're around. And uh, somebody's coming in with Gemini. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody's wanting to come in with some type of information to explain. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of up and down. You know, you know, it's good and it's bad in this situation here. So, um, just be mindful of any kind of partnerships. Whatever you're working on. Because there is unsettling times plan ahead. But there is that change coming in. And these people are going to be bitter about it if they ain't already. Okay? All right. Oh, I'm going to do this right here because I've done it for the fire sign. I'll do it for these two. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The letter P. So you could be uh, letter P. First, uh, first, middle, last. Gifts of healing. Uh, fire sign's got the same thing. Or somebody's got gifts of healing. So you could be a healer. You're a dimension traveler. Some of y'all are able to travel in dimensions. The third, th 3D into the 5D. You're able to see shit. Yeah, we're dealing with a spiritual teacher here. We're dealing with a spiritual teacher that is a healer, has gifts of healing. This is a divine being. Their dimension traveler uh, could be the letter P. What else? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Last one. All right. 
We have the illuminators. You could be out here, a spiritual teacher out here illuminating people and their energies and stuff. And you got gifts of healing. You're because of some kind of spiritual teacher. You're able to travel into dimensions, tap into source and the divine. There's days, days, and the letter F. So there's days coming in for this change, okay? But just don't give up. Whatever you're doing, you're going towards success. You are illuminating shit, the sun. You're out here illuminating. You're, you're helping people heal. You're helping them get on their spiritual uh, ascension, their growth. And whatever you're doing, you got people out here bitter about that, okay? This could be the person you're dealing with. And this person's trying to plan ahead because their finances is all fucked up. They're on settling times. So... So move forward fiercely. Just be aware of your uh, surroundings. Um, people don't necessarily like, uh, like I said, haters. Uh, but anyhow, don't give up. You stand in your power. Know that you are protected, you know, and you keep on doing you. It's been slow moving, but baby, it is coming in. You are healing, and you're out here healing people. You're going towards success, and spirit is around you, okay? All right. I hope that this message helped for whatever reason. If it doesn't, it's not your message. It's going to resonate with the uh, with, uh, like mind tribes, baby. You always find your tribe, okay? So um, please don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you um, for clicking onto my video, for like, share, subscribes, all that. Follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. I go live there each and every day. That link is in the description box below. Um, TikTok, Sisters Intuition. That's in the description box below. If anybody would like to get a reading, donate. That's in the uh, description as well. Uh, I send you all peace, light, love. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, y'all.